there. Can you guess what dance step is this? Anyone? Very good. It's a chicken dance. Does it amuse you? Chickens are sometimes a very good distraction. Do you agree? The same thing happened with two brothers who happened to find a very peculiar chicken. It was peculiar because no one could ever tell whether it is a rooster or a hen. The brother telling the story thought it was a hen, while his brother Kiko claimed it was a rooster. It all started one early morning when he and his brother Kiko were on the cornfield chasing away the chicken who were scratching the seeds of corn that just had been planted. Their attention was caught by two chickens fighting in the far end of the field. They could hardly see the birds because the air became full of whirlwind of feathers and dust. His brother Kiko amusingly shouted, Whoa! Look at that rooster fight! Why, if I had a rooster like that, I could get rich in the cockpits. His brother Kiko became very interested with the chicken that he decided to catch it. He slowly walked towards the two chicken who didn't even notice him because they were so busy fighting. When he came near to them, he immediately caught one of them by its leg. It struggled and squawked. When his brother Kiko finally held the chicken, they took a good look at it. At first glance, he was surprised and uttered it was a hen because it has no comb or wattles. <clears throat> What's the matter with you? Is the heat making you sick? No comb or wattles? Who cares about its comb or wattles? Didn't you see in the fight? Sure, I saw it in the pot, but I still say it is a hen. <clears throat> Did you ever see a hen with its person its leg like this? Or a hen with a tail like this? I don't care about its purse or tail. I tell you, it is a hen. The argument of the two brothers went on even on their way home. When they arrived at their house, Kiko tied a chicken to a peg. The chicken flapped its wings and then crowed. Hearing this, his brother Kiko felt triumphant because only rooster do that. However, he was still not convinced and insisted that it was a hen. The heated discussion continued even during lunch until their mother could no longer stand listening to them arguing and she interrupted. How many times must father tell you boys not to argue during lunch? What is the argument about this time? The boys told her mother about the chicken and she went out to look for it. The chicken is a binab egg. It is a rooster that looks like a hen. Actually, that should have ended the argument. Because their mother answer sounded fair to both of them. However, their father became also curious about the chicken. And he said, it was a hen. Uh-oh. Before the two boys realized what just had happened, their mother and their father were already arguing about the chicken by themselves. Soon, their mother thought that her husband started to drink again because he could no longer distinguish a rooster from a hen. Listen, I have handled so many fighting cocks since I was a boy, and you cannot tell me that that thing is a rooster. Soon, their mother began crying. She always cried whenever she argued with her husband. You know very well that that is a rooster. You're just being mean and stubborn. To stop the fight, his brother Kiko suggested to bring the issue to the Teniente del Barrio, chief of the village. The chief was the oldest man in the village. 
but that didn't mean that he was the wisest. But anything always scared more weight if it is said by a man with gray hair. When they took the chicken to the Teniente del Barrio, at first, he answered them jokingly that their question was supposed to be a concern of another chicken. They pleaded him to give them an answer. Much to their disappointment, when the Teniente del Barrio told them that they hadn't seen a chicken like this before. So, he concluded that it was not a chicken, but a bird of some other kind. They thought coming there was useless. So, they decided to leave. Next, they resolved to see Mr. Cruz. Mr. Eduardo Cruz lived in a nearby town in Katubusan. He studied poultry racing in the University of the Philippines. He owned and operated the largest poultry business in town. They took the chicken to his office. Mr. Cruz looked at the bird curiously and said, Hmm, I couldn't tell in one look. I have never run across a chicken like this before. But look at the feathers on its back. If the feathers are round, then it is a hen. If it is pointed, then it is a rooster. The three of them examined the feathers closely. It had both. Hmm. Very peculiar. They asked him if there was any other way to know. And he said he could kill the chicken and examine its inside. His brother Kiko protested about the killing of the chicken. So they took the chicken and walked back to their barrio. On their way, Kiko was the most silent, and then suddenly he said, I know how I can prove to you that this is a rooster. Would you agree that this is a rooster if I make it fight in a cockpit and it wins? And the other brother agreed. So, that Sandy, they took the chicken to the cockpit. Kiko looked for a suitable opponent, and finally, he picked a red rooster. Don't match your hand against that red rooster. That red rooster is not a native chicken. It is from Texas. Don't be a fool. That red rooster is the killer. It has killed more chicken than the facts. There is no chicken that could stand against it. Pick a lesser rooster. Nevertheless, his brother Kiko wouldn't listen. The match was made and the birds were ready for the killing. Everyone wanted to bet on the red game cup. The fight was brief. Both birds were released in the center of the arena. He expected that their chicken would die of fright. Instead, a strange thing happened. A lovesick expression came into the red rooster's eyes. Then, it didn't love this. It rushed into the red rooster with next feathers flaring. In one lunge, it burst its purse in its opponent's chest. The fight was over. Chupé, chupé, fixed fight, the crowd shouted. Then, a riot broke out. People tore bamboo benches apart and made them as clubs. The two brothers ran away from the mob with their chicken. As soon as they were safe, his brother Kiko asked, No, do you believe that this is a rooster? Sure, he answered. They were so glad that the whole argument was over. Just then, the chicken began to quiver. It stood up in his arms and cackled with laughter. Something warm and round dropped into his hand. It was an egg. My Brother's Peculiar Chicken by Alejandro Rosses